just heard about this shooting and uh, something rather interesting here. There, this woman is one of the uh, propagandists, I mean, uh, news reporters, and uh, she's talking about this guy that did this shooting. It was racially motivated. We know for sure it was racially motivated because he was white and he killed, uh, I think, uh, what they say, 11 black people and two white people. We won't release the information on why it's really, you know, racially motivated, but we know it was. We know it was. Had to be. Because that gets us, you know, that can helps the divide and conquer strategy much better. But uh, check out what this guy's wearing. Okay. Here we go. That a suspected gunman did not turn around to even look at us. He was staring straight ahead. He was wearing a white face mask and a white paper gown, similar to something you would put on at a doctor's office. Why is this one side bare? Hmm. He had no shoes on. All he had on. No shoes on? were boxers and a metal blue bracelet on his wrist. There were about five to six officers surrounding him inside that courtroom. So he's being surrounded by officers. Almost like uh, this Masonic initiation thing. Surrounded by officers. The guy comes in, part of his chest, Masonic ritual, part of the uh, shirt there that they wear is bare. You go up here, Masonic candidate suit, white. Nothing to it. Let's continue. Listen to what they say. It's ridiculous. And we were told there he's charged with murder in the first degree. His lawyer requested a forensic exam and put in a plea of not guilty for his client. Now, he did stand up and he answered the judge. The only words we heard out of his mouth tonight, quote, I understand my charges. He was remanded without bail, and the case is now going to a grand jury. Now, after he was walked out, his lawyer came up to us, told us he had no comment at the moment, said maybe in the future he would have a comment. We asked if further charges could be filed. He said, as of right now, his client is charged with one count of first-degree murder, implying maybe charges other charges could be coming. Now, I do want to say he was appointed as his lawyer um, um, by the courts. Now, the DAS office gave us an update tonight saying Gendron is scheduled to return on Thursday at 9.30 for a felony hearing. And um, Don Jackie, a lot of people asking, why would he be in that white gown that is paper? Well, we are told by sources tonight that he is on suicide watch and uh, potentially that paper gown would make it harder to hurt himself if he was, if he was wearing um, something else. Also, earlier in the... <laughs> yeah, if he was wearing something else, he could hurt himself. How? He's handcuffed. How many times have you seen criminals being brought in before a judge and they have their regular clothes on? Come on, people. It's a Masonic ritual. Look at the thing here. You know, the guy's there. I mean, Masonic ritual. That's what's going on here. You know, look. come on. You know, it's just plain as day what they're doing here. So, yeah. Um, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Jesus warned about the end times. Deception. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Uh, for all you media people out there and all you goonies and whatever else, you're going to hell. Okay? You're going to stand before God and you're going to burn in hell for all of eternity. Except you repent. Most of you won't. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.